Okay, yeah. Um, so <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not sure I know anyone in Congress more despicable than Jeff Van Drew. I guess Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham, Ted Cruz, fine, okay? <laughs> but he, he might make the final four. So, and I don't know who I despise more, Jeff Van Drew for now going and licking Donald Trump's boots after pretending to be a Democrat, or the Democratic Party who opened him with welcome arms as he voted the same way. Uh, while he was a Democrat and then said, hey, to progressives, don't challenge Jeff Van Drew. He's such a good Democrat uh, and we like him licking Donald Trump's boots as long as he calls himself a Democrat. Uh, or the media for not noticing anything about politics. I mean, when he he just called uh, Joe Biden, he said he's not gonna be able to resist the radical socialist agenda of the Democratic Party. It's a, a, I mean, it's preposterous in every way. And what did the media tell you? They lied to you all throughout the primary. Say, oh, you just pick Joe Biden. They won't call him a socialist. If you can pick Bernie, they'll call him a socialist. And the only thing that matters is what Republicans call people. And so just do whatever you do, don't pick Bernie because they'll call him a socialist. And what did they do? They're now they're calling Biden a socialist. Every speaker is calling Biden a socialist. I'm not gonna listen to any more people. We don't need this speech. It's they're all the same thing. Donald Trump is so empathetic. Oh my God, he he loves black people so much. Uh, and by the way, uh, the Donald Trump did increase funding to historically black colleges and universities. And so I always give credit where credit is due. He has never once talked about it uh, publicly. He's never emphasized it, never gone on a Twitter storm about it. We never heard about it until the convention. And all of a sudden they need black votes. They throw up 28 black speakers. Like literally more black people than they have in their own party. They bring in a couple of Democrats as well. And they're like, oh my God, do you know about historically black colleges and universities? And how much Donald Trump, oh, shut up. Like, no, you, you never, you, you might have cared about that, but Trump didn't even know, he probably didn't even know he did it. It's like the, when he did criminal justice reform, he yelled at Kushner later. He's like, it's not working with my base. They don't, they don't like it when I help black people. Why did we do that? Well, that was a mistake. Okay, so keep it. None of those guys keep it real. Back to Jeff Van Drew. Uh, so he says, "Oh, uh, Nancy Pelosi is a San Francisco liberal." I only wish. Then uh, he says, "Oh, you know, if, if the San Francisco liberal was bad enough, but then this within weeks uh, the squad uh, took control of the party. That would be awesome." Uh, how did I miss the memo? I've been trying, we've been trying to take over the party for a long time. Turns out we did it within a couple weeks and I didn't even know. Whew, uh, man, hey, congrats everybody on Medicare for all. You're all covered now. You don't have to worry in the middle of a pandemic. We have hell universal health care for everyone because apparently the squad took over. Green New Deal is already done. Don't worry, we saved the planet. None of it is true. He's an unbelievable liar. They're all, every Republican is an unbelievable liar. There is no such thing as a moderate Republican. There is no such thing as an honest Republican. It just doesn't exist. He said, um, uh, and now the squad and these radical socials are trying to take away your God given rights. Really? Name one. Name one. God given rights? What, which part of the Ten Commandments are we taking away? What are you talking about? I know what you know what he's talking about, right? Uh, freedom of speech, man. Donald Trump should be allowed to block people on Twitter, uh, and and we should be able to make sure we put people in prison and end their contracts, etc. If they ever say anything against Israel, we should be able to run them over with our cars if they're protesting oil pipelines. Freedom of speech sucks when it's for liberals and black people. Oh, but for us, oh, freedom of speech to say racist things. That's the, the rights that they think are under attack. And of course, the Second Amendment. Oh, and now they're gonna take away rights of poor right wing militia to go in the middle of a protest and murder people. I mean, Tucker Carlson's all bent out of shape, and apparently so is Jeff Van Drew about that. And then he says, Oh, trust me, you know, I'm a tough guy from South Jersey, he said. He alluded to him being tough. Dude, you got a kerchief on. I, I grew up in Jersey. There's nobody who walks into a diner, as he said, in South Jersey, <laughs> talking BS politics with a kerchief on and telling us how uh, you know tough he is. Get out of here. You look like the least tough guy on the planet. And, and every other part of it was nothing but lies. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.